according to Keith Errol Benson, South Africa and the U.S. have an opportunity to set a gold standard on leadership for social justice. He says that this is possible because there's plenty where Nelson Mandela and Martin Luther King came from. And secondly, within the chaos that is COVID-19, the fourth industrial revolution and the cries for Black Lives Better lies an opportunity to reflect on what does a socially just country look like? And then map up pathways for getting there and then deciding between government, society and business. Who is going to do what and who's going to pay for what? And he believes that in these two countries, we do have the capacity to pay for social justice. And he says we must pay for justice as insurance for peace. Okay. I mean, it, it all sounds good and uh, a good way forward. Uh, uh, sorry to be a bit of a party poop, but, you know, we've got things like high levels of corruption and, and the rot within so much of the leadership that we see, not only over there, but here as well. How do we compensate for that? How do we get around that in reaching good leadership? Leadership. And that's precisely why we need leadership, because up until now, we have left everything to government. We have not demanded transparency. We have not demanded to be involved. If we set up the commission that Keith Errol Benson asks us to set up, within that process, leadership will rise, the kind of leadership that will make sure that we also act as a buffer against corruption. For example, at Stellenbosch University, we already have a process that is called the Social Justice M Plan. One of the key result areas there deals with raising civil society to lead at all levels and that civil society to exercise social accountability by being its own eyes and ears to find out where is our money going to, who's making what decisions, and is the money being spent as agreed? And I guess to get to that point, we, the public, needs to have a, a louder voice, don't we? We need to get the courage to say Absolutely. enough is enough and make that count. Absolutely, Jane. We need a louder voice. We need a united voice. We also need an agreement on what is social justice. For example, some people are happy to only deal with poverty. Even then, they're not prepared to deal with poverty in reality. They're prepared to deal with what I refer to as legal poverty. Uh, for example, legal poverty has two levels, what we call lower bound. Lower bound is people who live on 27 rent, 50 per day. And then upper bound is people who live at something like 120 rand a month. Me and you know that even if you live at 3,500 rand a month, you are poor. We need to agree on the fact that we have a problem. And that a large part of that problem comes from the fact that government architecturally built a society of unequals. That society of unequals is still with us, is still with us now, demanding justice. And if we ignore that justice, it will keep knocking in the form of social division, racial polarization, and crime. And that we won't be able to even make a difference on corruption unless everyone feels that democracy works for them.